Hi, I'm Brian Gardner, Developer Advocate at WP Engine. In today's workshop, we're gonna learn how to build a pricing table pattern with the Frost theme. Pricing tables are great because you can showcase features for your digital products, service plans, and anything else you're trying to sell. Let's dig in. Okay, so this is the pricing table that we're going to build with Frost. As you can see, it's a three column pricing table, very simple and spans the full width of the uh, site container. In this case with Frost, it's 1200 pixels, does not go to the extent of the screen, but it fits nicely within here. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the page editor. This is the page that I'm working on and I'm gonna add a group because that is what I use to wrap most of the patterns. Uh, it's good for styling and it just helps kind of keep everything together. Uh, inside of that group, I'm gonna go ahead and add the columns that we need, three columns. Now you see this uh, column is only going the span of the content width. Uh, and what we want here on the front end is it to go the 1200 pixels, which is the wide width registered in Frost. Uh, the reason behind that is if you select the group, you'll see there's a little layout option over here on the right hand side that says inner blocks use content width, which is the 640 pixels. If we unselect this, that gives us the option to click right here and select wide width. Then you can see these go across. Now, first thing I wanna do is I wanna add the borders to each of the columns just to start defining what we're gonna be working with. So I'm gonna go over here. I've got the column selected. I'm gonna to go to the styles. I'm gonna select black. And we're just gonna go through each column and add a black border around it. And then inside each column, we wanna add some padding. Uh, as you can see here, we've probably got about 40 pixels of padding around it. This will give plenty of breathing room for the content. Uh, again, I'll go back to styles. Here is the padding controls. With Frost, we have a t-shirt size with the spacing, uh, small, extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. In this case, they go by 20 pixel increments. And so what I'll do again is go through each here and give the padding. And then what we'll do is go to the front end and just see what we've got. I'm gonna click update. This is where I'm working. And we can see we've got the columns all set with the spacing. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is start adding content. Going back to our prototype, uh, we've got here a little header section at the top which talks about the service plan uh, and the pricing. And so I'm just gonna go back into uh, my column. I'm gonna add a paragraph, we'll just call this personal. And then I'm gonna hit return and uh, we're gonna just uh, do $95 a year. Okay, uh, now we are gonna center the text because that is how our prototype is. And as we can see here, this looks a little bit differently. So uh, I'm gonna change some typography settings on these just to get this the way we want it to look. I believe this was going to be a little bit smaller size the price was, I believe, 36 pixels. And we wanna we'll just use um, bold. That'll help make that darker. I'm gonna hit update so we can see what we have. Okay, so now we've got this. Now we've got some spacing here, uh, and that is because by default, uh, block themes have a thing called block gap. Uh, and so the theme can define how much spacing should sit between blocks. And in Frost, we have 30 pixels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap these two in a group and then we'll remove uh, the block gap that's there. And so what I'll do here is uh, select the two. Uh, going into list view, you can see I've got both paragraphs. And then I'm gonna hit these three dots and just say group. And what it does is it's group these together. And uh, because I have the group highlighted, I can come over here to styles. And then over here, we have a block spacing. Uh, I'm gonna set this to 10. And what that does is it uh, spaces out the elements inside of that group. Now do a quick refresh and we can see here, uh, things are looking a little bit better. Uh, actually, I will just go ahead and zero this out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is build the feature list that we see here. In the Frost case, we've got a, a paragraph and then a separator and then another paragraph. That's just how this one is built. And then each one of these uh, sits within a group. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go back to my column, which I have selected. I'm gonna add the group just so that I've got something to work with. 
and then I'm going to add the first paragraph. We'll just call this feature number one. Uh, and then I'm going to hit return and I'm going to add the separator. And as you can see, by default, the separator is only 100 pixels wide. If you come over here to the right hand side for the block style and we select wide line, it'll stretch that line uh, to the extent of the container. So we've got the feature list item and then we've got the separator. And what we could do here is be creative. I'm gonna select them both and we can duplicate them. And what that does is it duplicates the feature and uh, the separator. And if I do that a few more times, it's just easier to do this way than building it from scratch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let's just see how many we've got here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. And so I will get out of list view. And what I can do now is just simply just call this feature two, feature three, feature four, and feature five. Whoops. I'm gonna click update and we're gonna see what we've got. Okay, as you can see, things are still looking a little bit different. These uh, paragraphs are centered and there's less spacing in between all of these items. So first thing we're gonna do is just go center all of the, just go to the paragraph, align center. And align center. Again, we've got the spacing. I'm gonna go back into list view. And so what we can do similarly to what we did above here is select the group and we're gonna remove um, some of that spacing by going down to the block spacing option. And I'm gonna just select 10 and then I'm gonna click update and we can see where we're at. Now watch what happens here on this column. Now we're looking better. So we've adjusted the spacing in between the columns. And then what we're gonna do lastly is add the button. Uh, and so removing myself from this view, I'm back into my column. I'm gonna add a button and we'll just say something like buy this now. Uh, now we the buttons by default are left aligned. And so we do this, we can do center justification. I'm gonna click update and we can see where we're at. Uh, so automatically the width is auto. And, and so in this case, uh, the buttons go full width. And so what we can do is go back to the button width settings here. If we select 100%, that'll just fill in the entire container. And so we will click update and I will refresh the screen. And now we've got this. So that was a little bit of work. And uh, let me show you a little shortcut similar to how we duplicated the feature list. Uh, you can do the same thing with columns so that you don't have to build these all over again. And so I'm gonna go up into list view. I'm gonna select the entire column and watch what happens when I hit duplicate. It duplicates the column. It adds it to the columns you already have. So if I duplicate this twice, it's gonna give me the three columns that I want in addition to the two that were already there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these two because I don't need them. And what I'll do is uh, update once again, and we can see what we've got. So it's duplicated this first column, which makes this really easy to then go in and change. Um, so we've just got professional enterprise, a little bit of a price change in this particular case. So I will just go ahead and um, update these prices. We'll just call this professional. And this one we'll call enterprise. I'm gonna update once again and let's see what things look like. Okay, there we have it. So now that we have a pricing table uh, with three columns, uh, let's just say you add another service and wanted to include a fourth one. Very easy to just go in again and duplicate this. Uh, maybe we'll call this one lifetime. And so maybe this is gonna be a $495, uh, not per year. And maybe we'll just do something like this. And let's do a quick update and we will see how things look. There we go. Now say for instance, uh, the spacing in between these columns you wanted to adjust, uh, very easy to do because we wrapped everything in a group. Uh, we can also select uh, the columns block at the high level, uh, come to the settings and right here we can determine 
uh, the spacing that we want in between. So the by default frost is 30 pixels, as I mentioned. Uh, the extra small spacing step is 20 pixels. And so that's a little bit tighter. So I'm gonna update this and we'll refresh and see what we've got, see what happens there. It adds them a little bit closer together. Uh, now let's just say for instance, enterprise is the um, featured uh, product that you want to sell and you wanna do something a little bit different with it. What you could do is very easily come in and we can select the column and maybe we wanna either apply a color like this to spotlight it or even better, maybe we want to do something like this. Now, of course, we'll have to do some adjustments to the text. Uh, so we could just easily select different color text. And if we come down here to the button, we can also change the background uh, color. Maybe we want to do something like this. I will go ahead and update it and we can see just how easy it is to then change them. Uh, and similarly, uh, maybe we want to just go and have a pricing table that looks very different uh, than this white. Maybe we want the whole thing to, to look a little bit different. So I'm just going to go through each one and change some colors so we can see how this looks. Very easy to just uh, change the colors, background, and text. I'll do a quick update. And all of a sudden we have a pricing table that looks like this. Uh, maybe these lines are something that you want to change the color to. Maybe if you're using the dark, uh, what you could do is click on the selector. And for background, um, maybe we want to just make this a little bit lighter. So, so 333, three. if you do update, we'll watch this first one here. Gets a little, it's a little bit lighter. Uh, in contrast, it gets a little bit darker. Um, and so... Maybe we'll just go through each one just to showcase a little bit of how these things can be styled. Sometimes easier to go into list view to select them. And I'm just gonna round these out and we can see how things look. Get the last one done. All right, so we're gonna update this and now we've got a pricing table that looks a little bit better designed and uh, focuses on a specific item. And again, if for some reason you have this set up and all of a sudden your lifetime offer goes away, uh, very easy to just go in and select the column and hit delete. And what that does is obviously deletes the column and sends things back. Now, another cool feature with uh, the WordPress block editor is, uh, let's just say now that we've done that, we, we want this enterprise to sit in the middle. Uh, so what we could do is take this column and highlight the column as it is. And it, you can see these little arrows. Let's just move that column left. And so what it does, you saw that come up here and it moves the column to the middle. Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna show you is what happens if you have a design that uh, you wanna put this in a section that has a full width background color. Uh, this will take a little bit of finessing, but I'll walk through how that works. Uh, because we have this all wrapped in a group, um, what we can do is let's just change the background color of the group. So it's changed the background color, but what we need to do now is we need to make this full width. So we want the group to go full width. And now that we have um, a full width group, what we need to do is select this item here, which then uh, uses the content width. And we can do something like this. We can determine, we want the inside content. So the column that sits inside of this group uh, to go 1200 pixels. And so that's what that will do. Now, what we're looking at here is these columns need to go back. We'll just sort of clear these out so that we can kind of get, um, uh, actually we wanna go white so that way it'll contrast against the background. Uh, and so back to this column, we will change the background color and we can clear out this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and update and we can see what we're looking at. Okay, obviously this looks like better and so what we need to do is add inside of the group a little padding top and bottom and so i'm going to go back down here in lower left hand corner to where it says group 
I'm gonna go to the Styles tab. And this is the top and bottom, and so we're just gonna add some padding to see how this looks. And there we have a full width background color with the pricing table as we had designed it. And so there we have it. We've built a three column pricing table that you can use to compare features for your digital products or service plans. And uh, look forward to producing more videos on how to build patterns with Frost. WordPress 6.3 just released early this week and we're going to go through a whole series on how to build each of these patterns, uh, especially the ones that come with Frost and also beyond. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.